interesting. So uh, he wants to differentiate between lamenting and repenting and says, while I have not found the perfect middle yet, man, is he trying? He is going to try. <laughs> He's working on it. He is going to get there. Um, it does bug me anytime. And we all do. I've done this. I know we course. all do it. But we all take that like position. Yeah, I've got these things. guys on this side. I've got those guys on this side. And here I am just doing the right thing. You know, like there's the conservatives. There's the liberals. Not me. I'm right in the middle. Every, literally every single person says that. Everyone. Everyone. So, so it means nothing at this point. That means nothing to me. And there is a time whether I, I mean, we're, we're closing in on this is the time in this debate. The apostles did not say, man, those, the Gnostics, the Judaizers, you know, they're on one side and, you know, I'd hate to just be viewed as just totally opposed to them. No, no, there is a time where it's time to say like, you know, I don't, and what people want to do, why do they want to assume the middle? They want to do it because they want to say, I don't accept all the things labeling me as are true, right? I don't accept that because I oppose you, I have to take the most extreme opposite position. Right. To oppose wokeness, I don't have to deny racial injustice. Of course you don't. And of course you don't want to because no one should want to embrace untruth. Though, as right. Pastor Michael said, that's becoming an attractive option, unfortunately, to some. But yeah, no. This this is again it's a it's a rhetorical trick and it is weak. Um, it is a weak rhetorical trick. Um, so, Pastor Michael, do you what a think, bummer? 